Hi everyone! So Christmas time tends to mean Christmas parties. Now I'm a bit of a granny annie so I don't go out personally and my work doesn't have a Christmas night out this year so I won't be going out but I thought today as you can probably tell by my lack of makeup here that I would show you a way to do your makeup for Christmas parties using only drugstore products. So. Now my skin's a little bit dry and dehydrated right now from the cold weather and I just can't seem to find anything to sort it out. So the first thing I need to do is prime my face and give it something that's going to illuminate it a little bit and give it a bit more of a glow. So I'm going to use the L'Oreal Paris Lumi Magique Base Conceal concentrate primer and I've had this one for a while now I think I've had it for about a year and I keep going on and off of using it but right now I'm really really enjoying it because like I said my skin is so dry and makeup just looks too matte on my face right now so I want something to just kind of just pick up a little bit so I just pop a bit of that on the back of my hand it is quite a thin form of liquid I don't know if you can see that there the light's not really good in here but you just kind of work a little bit and I'm just going to pop that on all of the main parts of my face that stick out so my cheekbones, down my nose, my forehead and my chin. A little bit left. This stuff is just such a nice formula it's really smooth on the skin and it's not overly greasy so it just sinks in perfectly. Okay, now that that's done, I'm going to move on to concealer. And the one I'm going to use for that is the old favourite. It's the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. And I'm in the shade 1 Fair, which I think is just about perfect for my skin. It's a little bit, tiny bit darker, but it works really well. So this is what I'm going to use. Now I tend to go a bit mad with concealer. I always put this on before my foundation because for me personally it just works better and yeah I just tend to be in it all over because as you can see I've got dark spots under my eyes and I have quite bad blemishes at the moment so I just want to get those all covered up. So just pop it under the eyes. I do my eyelids as well because they tend to be a little bit greasy. Their nose is a big one because I always get a red nose, especially when it's cold outside. And some spots in there. And to blend it all in, I'm going to use the Beauty Blender. Now, before you comment about it or ask, this has been chewed by my dog. It has been washed since then, but she seems to just get a hold of it before I even notice that she has it, and that is why this is like this. Now I know I said drugstore and this isn't drugstore price but I did have a drugstore one and it's £5 from Superdrug, their blender, but my dog also got hold of that and actually destroyed it. But I will link that one below instead of this one because I did say drugstore because it, it just works just as well as this I feel and it's about half the price if not a third of the price. So I would recommend either really, I just picked this one up because it was in the store that I was in and I needed one but the £5 one is just as good. So if you just dab in all of your concealer, concentrating for me underneath the eyes because I do have quite obvious dark lines under there. So for foundation I am using my favourite at the moment and that is the L'Oreal Paris True Match and I'm in the shade R1C1 Rose Ivory and I've spoken about this one in a few of my past videos and I'm just in love with it right now. So you just need one pump, well that's how much I use personally, I think that's more than enough for this and for that I'm going to use the Real Techniques Buffing Brush and I'm just going to dab a little bit of a at a time and I'm going to start off with my cheeks and just buffing that in in quite a firm circular motion. I can never really say what the formula is like. It's quite a thin formula but at the same time it covers really well and it is really really buildable. So it is just my favourite for winter right now because I feel like I need a little bit of extra coverage at this time of year with my skin being 
so dull, but this stuff doesn't feel like paint, which is always good. So just keep buffing it in until you're happy with how it looks. Just make sure you get your neck as well. You don't want to end up with tan lines, they're never attractive. <laughs> Okay, now that I'm done with the base, I like to just kind of set it all a little bit, well, just under my eyes especially, because I'm all way to apply my eyeshadow and I don't want it going under my eyes. So I just put a little bit of powder under here to set it all in to my eyes. And a little bit on the top of my lids because as I said mine are really greasy I don't know what it is about my eyelids but nothing seems to stay on nicely with them unless I apply powder first which might be a bit drying and wrong to do but it works for me and for that I'm using the Rimmel London stay matte powder and mine's in the shade 02 pink blossom okay now that base is complete I'm going on to use the archery brow Wiz to do my brows now I've barely used this yet, I only just got it really and I've heard really really good things about it so I'm gonna give it a try for this video so we will see how this goes. So I'm just gonna start off by using the spoolie on one end to comb out my brows a little bit. I just got them done the other day so they look okay at the moment but how long it'll stay like that I have no idea. It's really good just for getting all the finer hair, finer points so it makes it look like it's actually hair on your eyebrows which is always a good thing. I am used to my powder which is it, it is a bit more full on your eyebrows but I wanted to try something a bit more natural so we're gonna give this a go. I was surprised to find that this only has, I think, two shades. Well, that's how many they had in boots and they didn't seem to have any more available. So I'm in the shade Hot Chocolate and there's also a blonde colour. And I do think that depending on how heavy handed you are with this, you could probably get away with it for fairer hair but it is just all down to what you feel really. Despite the fact that they are looking a bit like caterpillars on my face right now because I've got no other makeup on, I actually really like the effect and the colour of this pencil, so I am really happy with it. I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows out again. You have with your eyebrows, you just go on to your eyeshadow, and for this I am using the L'Oreal Paris La Palette Nude. Now this is quite a new product for me and I'm just so happy with it. I mean, look at the colours, they are such pretty pinks and purple colours. So I think for this look, since I am using such a bold lip, I don't want to go too bold with the eyeshadow. So I think I am just going to keep it, keep it simple. So I'll probably use the first one there for more of my brow, brow bones and just the base. And then I think I'm gonna go in with this color here. It's more of like an orangey brown and just the darker brown there just for the creases. And I'm also gonna use the eyeshadow brush in the palette for this because it is, it is quite small, the brush, but I really enjoy using it. It's, it's good, it packs the eyeshadow on pretty well. So I'm just gonna get started with that. So I'll just start by putting the white shade all over the lid. And then I'm going to go on to the more the second shade in the palette, the more orangey pink colour just to do all over the lids here. This is quite a natural kind of nude colour, so it is really wearable day to day. And then I'm going to move on to this more browner shade here, which is the fourth one in the palette, and that's just for the crease and the 
side of my eyes. And I'm actually going to go in with something a tiny bit darker just to make it pop out a little bit. I feel like it's too orange and too like out there. So just to kind of tone it down a little bit, I'm going to use I don't know if you can see that, this colour here. Okay, and then I'm just going to blend this all out together. And then I'm going to take the bottom of the brush that goes along with the palette and I'm just going to take a little bit of the final brown colour that I used and just pop it underneath my eyes just to give them a little bit more definition underneath. Okay, now the eyeshadow's done, I'm gonna use eyeliner, and for this I'm using the L'Oreal Paris Super Lime Liner, and this is the perfect slim one, I'm gonna apply that now. Now, as I said in my other video, I do apply this really strangely. I pull the side of my eyes to just put the line sideways on. Okay, now that eyeliner's done, I'm just going to go on with mascara and I'm going to start off by curling my lashes. So the mascara I'm going to use for this look is the Miss Manga Mega Volume Mascara. Now the very first time I used this, I didn't really enjoy it. I felt that the formula was a little bit too thin and it just went everywhere, like it seemed to transfer a lot on top of my lids and underneath. But I've kind of persevered with it and the more I use it, the more I enjoy it because it does give the lashes quite an extreme look and they part all the lashes really nicely. Okay, now that I'm finished with the eyes, I am going to go on to blush. And for this I'm going to use the L'Oreal Paris Le Blush in 145 Rosewood. It is my favourite blusher at the moment and to apply this I'm going to use the Real Techniques blush brush. I spoke about this in a previous post, I think it was my haul, and I really enjoyed this brush. I've been meaning it on for ages and I never got around to it, and now that I have, I'm really happy with it because it just sculpts to your cheeks really well. So I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks, and this is quite a pigmented colour, so you don't need a lot. A little goes a long way with this one, but it does give you a really nice flushed natural look I feel so I'm really enjoying using it at the moment. When that's done I just like to set it all in place with the Soap and Glory one heck of a blot powder. Now this is a really good translucent kind of powder and it is perfect for any kind of skin type. It just makes the skin lose its sheen a little bit but without making it look too cakey. I just put that a little bit everywhere but I don't want to go too crazy with it because I am trying to have a little bit of a dewy shine. So for lips I'm going to use the Topshop Velvet Lips and this is in the shade Blood Orange. I love this formula, it is amazing to go on. I've never actually tried a lipstick like this before. I'm really enjoying matte lips for winter because it makes the lips just look so obvious I feel more so than other dark lips and this formula is just so strange it just goes on really well I'll really stop talking for this otherwise I'll make it go everywhere okay so that is the final look I'll just take my hair out here watching this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and please let me know any videos that you'd like to see me doing or any tutorials like celebrity tutorials or anything like that because I really enjoy doing makeup for you guys and I would love to do it more often but it's just coming up with the ideas on what you would like to see so thank you for watching bye guys